Okay, welcome back. In my last video, you could see that uh, I had it proper uh, done. Uh, the motor is uh, running on uh, four uh, nine volt batteries, and I'm charging a capacitor bank. And with that capacitor bank, I'm lighting a 220 volt uh, lamp of 60 watts and while I'm doing that the motor will not consume more electricity uh, than it was already using. Um, I added some more things here. I put a scope because it's uh, very very necessary <laughs> to make it uh, good visual. And I put also a neon bulb. Well, this is the motor. Um, I have commutators here that are little wires. Um, I'm still working on a MOSFET drive. Um, this is quite new for me, this kind of uh, electronics. Um, so I'm, I'm still busy with that. Um, okay, we have uh, a big flywheel from a flight case. Um, we have uh, two magnets, and these are, if you can see, a little bit you can see it. Those are neo magnets, so they are rare earth magnets. Um, these two pieces are sticked on a on an iron shaft and this iron shaft uh, yeah the the magnets just stick on the on the shaft and I just keep it together with some tape and yeah these things are really hard if you have these two blocks in your hand and you play with it you can uh, really lose your finger and here I have an analog meter and while the motor is running it will show you a very little and it goes up because this is a big amp meter. Um, I also have uh, a digital one but the digital meters are going crazy every time when I run motor so that's why I have this one. Um, here I have a neon bulb. Uh, this neon bulb will flash when the battery of when the uh, capacitor bank, this one, is full, is uh, on its highest charge. Then the neon bulb will uh, flash, uh, uh, saying that he has more energy left than that he can put in the capacitor bank. Um, as you see, it's now s standing a bit on uh, on. 8.2. This is the voltmeter of that bank. Um, to that I have hooked up this lamp and with a switch and I can show you when I press the switch I can zero out the the rest of it. But yeah, it will go up a little bit. Here I have this 4 and 9 volt batteries to make 36 volts. Um, I have to say, if I put more, the motor will go faster, but uh, because of my um, instability of the magnets that are just sticked on the shaft, I won't uh, want to run it uh, faster. It's uh, quite dangerous. <laughs> um, as you can see, these are very simple batteries. I bought them for 180 a piece. Um, not supposed to run these kind of things, but uh, it is. And um, yeah, what can I explain more? Well, let's run it. Uh, I already hook up the, the lids, so I only have to give it a little swing. I have a little problem with my. Through here. Mm, that's because one moment. 
And it's more about the correct timing, and the correct timing, it's like this is on, tick, 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 click that way. Okay. Okay, I will put for a moment the, the camera down. problem was that I, well, I was moving everything, I just turn around the uh, 9 volt battery so it doesn't want to spin the other way because then my commutators are going under the shaft and not really doing what he's supposed to do. So, okay. You see what I just did? I will stop the motor for a little bit and give it a turn. Okay, then we go all over the meters. The motor is consuming, as you can see, just a little. Um, I think this one correct. I put it on the 10 amp scale. So behind the comma you can see what it's using. It says that it is using a bit like 200 milliamps, but my analog meter is not showing that. Um, my capacitor bank is, as you can see, fully charging. It's now on 80, almost 90, and when my neon bulb will flash. It means that I have a full uh, capacitor bank. I think you can already see it. Motor bit slowing down, but that's okay. And this is a bit crazy because when uh, the the battery bank is full, or the the capacitor bank is getting full, this meter is going to show that it's using more amps but that's not true because this one stays on the same voltage okay this is how it looks in the scope and you can clearly see all these spikes and even if I uh, zero to a level that you can see you can see this super back spikes you know and Make this thing a little bit clear because I'm also working with the frame, the camera frame. Okay. Well, here I have the lamp. We have different voltage now, and yeah, let's run the switch. So, well, I did that. It's really climbing up super fast. Motor turning nice and bright, flashing sparks at the uh, commutator. And because uh, I can only put uh, a 10 minutes video, I'm going to end this video with a nice flash of uh, full energy. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, good luck uh, with the project.